Last movie for today, I have The Church from 1989. An Italian film, by the way. Not American, Italian. <sighs> this fucking thing. Here's my thoughts. The narrow visage of the Holy Knight's helm is truly remarkable. Like, it's so fucking narrow. Like, the field of vision is so obscurely limited that combat is near impossible. It's weird. But I did like how they opened the helmet up. That was nice. The fast-paced organ music is hilarious. And the POV massacre was interesting. Yeah, the fast-paced organ music... God, it's hilarious as the girl... As was the girl's sudden death by face cupping. So nonsensical. There's a lot of nonsensical shit in this film. What's really amazing is how low-budget Holy Crusade films were back then, since you didn't need very much. You really didn't. You needed, what? A small community to fuck with. A church. <laughs> People to dress up as knights. Uh... People acting like priests, and they're not. Um, what else? And it was just, it was so cheap. It was the cheapest fucking thing to make. Probably like under 20 million, if that. Because if it's all, if it's one local area, it's cheap. But if you're going to multiple locations, a lot of money more. Oh, let's see. <laughs> Even the goose got killed for being a saint worshiper. <laughs> so sad. And old Goosey Lucy. Poor Goosey Lucy. Uh, let's see here. Basket head got ratted out by Goosey Lucy's brother. And then chased down in the most anticlimactic pursuit I've ever seen. And was killed. So stupid. The scene transition from the burial to present day was great. That was actually pretty impressive for 89. I like that. The sermon from Father Time on Satan's Legion from Luke. I actually know the number. It's 6,666. I actually looked it up years ago. I was curious. That's right. Women weren't allowed to be in the li church library because they're seen as inferior. Yeah. Ah, the knights are called tectonic knights. Okay. I didn't know they inspired Hitler's Iron Cross. Pretty cool tie-in. like that kind of info. It's always fun. Like, all these older films, especially 80s flicks, always had that tie-in to previous history and shit. So, like, oh, new facts. The dialogue is so stiff, it's kind of sad. It's so stiff that a dead dick at the morgue is more appealing than this shit. Horrible. Man, that was a quick transition into sex for Lisa and Evan. And the make-out session was short-lived. Because Evan discovered that the words on the parchment were Latin and readable on his reflective lighter. And he passed up banging Lisa. Like, damn. Why is Invisible Mr. Ed following Lot? I don't know. Oh, no. Invisible Mr. Ed is chasing Lisa. And you don't know what becomes of Invisible Mr. Ed. He's a mystery. Ugh. Father Gus is Holy Hawkeye. And he saw a tectonic knight firing an arrow at him that disappeared. Good arm strength, too. And he was also in... Um, I want to say Halloween, but that's not the right one. It was either Halloween or Robocop. Yeah. Ugh. Oh no, Evan opened up the tomb and the hand strangling him from the bag. Slay, slay. Oh god, this is so dumb. This was the dumbest part. There's a lot of dumb parts in this film. But the hand strangling him followed by his fall back on the cross is hilarious. So stupid. And he conveniently sliced his wrist on the opening, pulling the bag out too. The seal for the cross is pretty creepy. Evans uppercut the lot's dad is a hoot. Some dumb shit. I uploaded a lot of clips from this movie. They're fucking stupid. Evans dead, apparently, after pulling his heart out of his gut. Awesome effects, though. Lisa's got a rotary phone. God, I miss those. Oh, this shit. Lisa gets attacked by an invisible demon. Dives through the glass window, no scratches whatsoever. Perfect Olympic 10 out of 10. 
only to get tackled by the fleece blanket and the cops that magically arrive by Goku's instant transmission. <laughs> Oh, this bitch. <laughs> so good. Oh, it's so stupid. Oh, Evan's alive. Ain't that amazing? Even forcing himself on Lisa was so dumb. Just absolutely dumb. The way he did it was dumb. Evan's favorite number is six on the typewriter and spinning around in the chair. Because he's autistic. <laughs> Him trying to kill a lot was a hoot, but her dad with the soap is a fucking riot. Oh, God, that had me in stitches for a while. Just, you gotta watch the clip. It's stupid as shit. Oh, uh, where is Invisible Mr. Ed? Where is her? <sighs> Nobody knows. He disappeared. Nice jackhammer impalement on Watt's dad. The ancient pulley system was cool. I am a, fan, I'm a great fan of pulley systems. I like that shit. Because if it's completely autonomous and set off just by one little switch and you get to watch it and stuff, like marbles, that's fun. I love it. It's great. It's one of my favorite things. Poor Bruno's pretty face got maimed and then attacked by one of Aquaman's fish demons. Ain't that a bitch? Whoa, Evan turned into a demon and was fucking Joanna. Well, damn. Finally, some sex. Now I know where Boris Velo, Dorian Clevenger, and Louis Royo got their inspiration for Vampire's Kiss. It's an art piece. It's an art piece they worked on. I recognized that when I watched. I was like, I know that art. That's Louis's work. I had to look it up. I didn't know the three of them worked on. I just thought it was Louis's work. I love Louis Royo. I grew up on Boris, Louis, and Julie Bell. They are my favorites. Now I like Dorian. I gotta look up his shit then. Uh, Joanne and her BF are trying to find a way out underground. <laughs> the old fart couple made it to the bell tower. <laughs> so there's a button that'll to push that'll bring down the entire cathedral in one go. Amazing. That's pretty impressive. Father Time's death was hilarious. <laughs> After he ripped up the parchment and comically fell. God. Poor Joanna got speared by the train after her, B after her BF found a way out. So disappointing. Lisa's got nice nipples, though. The bride freaking out over her reflection was a trip. Father Gus sweating like a whore in church is wild. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it was in the rain, but fuck, man. Ain't that wet. Ugh, demons boning Lisa while everyone possessed is chanting. Weird as hell. What was the purpose of the mud folks rising out of the ground? I don't fucking know. The key to, the, to bringing down the church was the architect who had a key in his mouth. Once Father Gus took it out, the church collapsed, but as Lot returned, she found the cross seal and the blue light made her smile. You know what that blue light was? Kmart. Kmart blue light special, baby. That's what made her smile. Yeah. So, the moral of this movie is... Go to church, fuck around, have some comical moments, and hope you can get the Kmart Blue Light Special to attack you. There you go. It's a weird-ass, funny fucking movie for all the wrong reasons. Dialogue translation was off and just too funny to be scary. If it came out today, it would be PG at most. For an Italian horror film, it's not very scary, but kind of is. I'm kind of surprised Channing Tatum is listed in this, seeming as he would have been nine. Yeah, he's listed in the credits, but un uncredited. So, I'm guessing he was Otto. Ballpark guess. But I'm not sure. I did ask him on Twitter. Waiting to hear back on that. Probably won't ever hear anyway. I watched this based off a Twitter post, because I do like 80s flicks that have some horror elements to them. I'm not like into horror horror, but like if it's... Something like The Gate or um, Prince of Darkness. Uh, what's the other fucking one I love the most? Um, Nightbreed. Um, I'm not into demonic horror. I like soft horror. Yeah, that kind of like critters. Well, that's not really horror. That's more than a sci fi horror. Fuck it, whatever. The Abyss, Leviathan. 
Um, whatever else. Uh, uh, I figured it was going to be like The Gate, but not even close. As a horror film, it does have the elements, but feels more like Rawhead Rex quality, especially that. Evan's demon design and the goat demon were immaculate. Church itself was nice and built good. It also feels like a Prince of Darkness ripoff in a way, but apparently rewritten, so it didn't connect to the demons films as well. How would I rate this? 3-2 out of 10. Honestly, it's too funny to be scary. Like, you can't really be scared of this shit because it's stupid. Now, maybe if I had been born overseas back then, saw it as a kid, I'd be terrified. But now, just, yeah, funny watch. <laughs> so, if you like the church, if you think it's an underrated masterpiece, cool. If you don't share the same sentiments, that's fine. Awesome. So, I'll be back with a book review. Stay tuned.